what's going on guys let's go ahead and tap into that message that i picked up earlier for you guys those of you guys who are dealing with any type of attacks someone may have been trying to teach you some type of lesson and this individual may have been doing some type of spell work that instantly backfired now, I feel like whatever is taking place in this person's life, whatever karma they are experiencing, this individual wants to blame you for the karma or they're wanting to blame you for some type of spirit activity around them. However, I'm feeling as if whoever this individual is, they made the situation worse because they tried to do some type of spiritual work. However, whatever they were trying to send your way actually stayed with them. So they could feel this um, a feeling of being overcrowded in their home. They may not feel comfortable in their home. Okay, I heard somebody has no peace. Now, I also feel like whoever these individuals are, and for some of you guys, this could be a group of individuals. This could also be a family because I kept picking up that um, a married couple and their children or somebody's not covered, like their spiritual team turn their back on them. Okay. And this could be because of some type of spell work. So let's see. Do you have any thought? What message do you have? Okay. You're going to need more than sage for that shit. Okay. Somebody getting their ass kicked out here. You definitely have the victory. And whoever this person is, they know that they're going to have to be 100% honest with you. Definitely be patient. So this person, it sounds like they're going to have to... Okay, come back around, come back your way, spin the block, because they know that they're going to have to be honest with you if they come and talk to you, if they open up to you. They're going to have to be honest with you about um, any type of spell work that was taking place. Okay, so, Holy Spirit, what message do you have? Okay, don't change for the world, change for you, and watch the world change around you. This individual, they're refusing to make some type of change in their life. And I feel like spirit is trying to get their attention that they're needing to make certain changes in their life, especially if they're wanting to grow. But this person, they made the wrong damn decision. Okay. By my stripes, you were healed. Mm -hmm. The blacklist in your career has been reversed. Sucks to be them. Now enjoy the rebirth, my love. So whatever spell work this person may have done, um, they could have been trying to blacklist you in your career. They could have been trying to end something for you. It's like this person, chariot in reverse, okay? Some of you guys could be having some vehicle issues, but it's like this individual does not want you to move forward. You could have experienced blocks. You could have been having a hard time when it comes to your career sector, but God is letting you know by his stripes, baby, you were healed. Now, whoever these individuals are, they're trying to, um, something's going on with their finances, these individuals don't want to change, okay? So they can see a depletion in their finances. They may also see a depletion when it comes to, um, if this is somebody who's a business owner, their business, they may see issues when it comes to their career sector with other people. They're, they can be trying to heal these things. Somebody is also trying to heal a relationship. Okay, what if they seeing the collective's way? Okay, five to seven days. So whoever this person is, they keep messing with you. This individual secretly hates you. Okay, and whoever this person is, they want you to work for their pleasure only. So this is a one-sided relationship that you may have with this individual. Mm. Okay, so they're being warned to quit messing with you. But this individual secretly hates you. This person could have tried to throw some type of like hate your way, give you the evil eye. It's like trying to poke the bear. Hmm. I also feel like for some of you guys, this individual may want you to do things for them. Like a one-sided relationship. Somebody could be doing like um, like charming spells to try to charm people, money spells. Hmm. Baby, you got some good karma coming your way. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. 
whoever this person is, they think about you when they are chilling with somebody else. They've been thinking about you for a whole week. Mm -hmm. They can't keep their mind on any other task, on any other person. It's like they constantly think about you. But yet there's hate that's there. Whoever these individuals are, they've been getting like the wrong downloads, wrong messages. This person is confused. Okay, there's some illusions. This person also may have wanted people to stop like um, messing with you. They could have been trying to block your relationships. They could have also been telling people like um, the wrong things about you. This person tried to tell people that you was crazy. You didn't know what you were talking about. Somebody could have also tried to do like, um, this person could have been trying to attack you psychically. Mm -hmm. Two, two, two. So they feel like you're a soulmate, but yet there's hate there. So this is somebody that they smile in your face. You're their soulmate. You're part of their soul tribe. Hey, boo, you my friend. That's my bitch. But the relationship seems to only benefit them when they are around. This person tried to stop soulmates from coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, unrealistic expectations. They had unrealistic, unrealistic expectations with their manifestation or what they were trying to do. Any more messages? Out this deck. Whoever this is, I'm telling you, it's more than one person. For some of you guys, you may be called to um, have an online business uh, and it may be very successful. You will be successful. For those of you who are thinking about going online, who are thinking about venturing out, okay? But let's get to this. They are working as a team to overthrow you, play them at their own game. So whoever this is, it's more than one person. Again, it could be um, five to seven people, a group of people, but I also feel like a couple will be significant. Whoever these individuals are, God said, now they know this ain't even a lane. Who called you for this? Who ordained you for this? So whatever they're trying to do, they have not been called to do that type of work. This is not something that they are experienced in. The ancestors keep saying, bitch, no. For some of you guys, this person may have been doing this for the past six months. You may have known this person or you could have been connected to this person um, six months ago. They've been doing it. Somebody's only been doing spell work for six months. Like, this is something that's new. They may um, have recently started or even learning. Your ancestors said, we just waiting on you to say the word. And we on their ass like white on rice. So you haven't even commanded your ancestors um, in this situation for some of you guys to go ahead and handle their ass. Hand them their ass. Okay? Child, we don't fuck with them. Don't even associate them with us. Now, this is somebody that all in your face, y'all friends, but behind your back, they don't fuck with you. Don't ever associate me with that person. Hmm. This individual or individuals, they have some unrealistic expectations. Okay. If they loved you, their action would match those words now, wouldn't they? And last card, not all doors lead to your soul's progression. Some doors bring fame and success, but what will it cost your soul? Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to cost this person. So these are individuals who refuse to change, who refuse to heal. Okay. The next week could be significant. And I feel like these are the worst type of... Um, these are the worst type of haters to have. These are what, the worst type of snakes to even be around. Okay. Because they tell you one thing, but um, behind your back, they do something different. Okay. Occupation. So this person is refusing to change when it comes to um, what they've been called to do, the work that they have been called to do. This person could also be trying to impact your career sector. This dude, mm -hmm. you could work with this dude. 
This dude is the one who could be doing the work also. Okay, somebody could be around 34 to 35. Mm -hmm. Whoever, expectations. This person has unrealistic expectations. This person could have even been like a lover, love relationship. You could have had a connection with this person. You or this individual, you may have stretch marks around your waist. It's going to be your confirmation. Okay. This person could have worked on a house with you. Okay, somebody could have been trying to block you when it comes to working on a home, working on your foundation, your stability. This man could also work from home. He's refusing to change. Mm -hmm. Okay, a privileged lady comes into some money, but that also changes. Somebody, whoever these people are, they about to go to jail. Yeah, somebody's residency is about to change. Somebody could, oh, somebody may even die in jail. Like, could get sentenced to, like, life for a long time. And then here this woman is, this main female, she's in poverty. But somebody is a false person. False ex expectations out of a love relationship. Somebody could also be trying to get, like, some insurance. Like an insurance claim. Look, this person is going to court. Somebody's going to have to go to court pertaining to a home. A married couple. Mm -hmm. This could even be a business partner when it comes to an online business, when it comes to even having a business. But somebody, this is a married couple. And for some of you guys, this could even be a married couple that could be visiting your online business. Okay, for some of you guys, you could have also met a masculine energy online only to find out that this person is married. This person may have only been married for um, three weeks to six months. Somebody, who they marriage is only going to last six months. It's not going to last out. Okay, king is you throw... As you throw my love. Huh? They say, King, as you throw my love. The song that's playing is Mary J. Blige. You gotta face reality. Your child. It's too bad. It's too bad. Somebody is taking some man to court surrounding like a home. Mm hmm Going to this occupation. For some of you guys, this man could even come up to your job. Okay, you're going to have some type of social media revelation. You may find something out about an individual. Somebody could also be trying to figure out where somebody works at, like what somebody does for a living. Mm-hmm. Who is this main male? Okay, he's trying to do some type of damage control. Mm-hmm. So it's like this person is trying to backtrack. Somebody has an A, a V, or an S, first, middle, last, initial. Mm-hmm. Social media revelations. This person is trying to repair their situation. They trying to fix something. Could be trying to fix that spell work. Didn't I tell you that it didn't leave their house? And here's this house right here. Now this person could be trying to repair whatever damage that they have done because it's like somebody destroyed their own foundation by trying to attack yours, by trying to attack your finances, trying to attack you when it comes to your work relationships, trying to attack you when it comes to your stability, your home. It seems as if this individual is experiencing this. Go into this house, okay? Whoever this person is, they're trying to be very vocal, okay? trying to do damage control, trying to take measures to minimize the damage to their reputation or their credibility. Okay, fuck girl. Okay, so fuck girl vibes. Now, this person could live with somebody who is very low vibrational. 
Okay, somebody's holding somebody's baby. That's what Mary J. Blige just said. Okay, they want to do some damage control when it comes to this fuck girl. But for some of you guys, this could even be you. You could be in this protective type energy. Like you're protecting your stability. You're protecting what's yours. You're protecting your home. But I feel like this man and this woman, they have some type of connection. Going to... Well, let's clarify judication real quick. Okay, flatline. Mm -hmm. Okay, an emergency. So this person is like rushing to correct whatever issue it is. They gonna flatline though when they get these uh some court documents or somebody's going to jail or gotta go to court. Somebody's enemies are trying to outwit them. Okay, but you got this man and this woman that's standing before a judge. Honey, their ass is being humbled. Okay. So go into this masculine, this main male, and this fuck girl. Because I feel like for some of you guys, this masculine could live with this individual. This could even be a neighbor type situation. Hmm. Somebody is 100% sure of something. Okay. So, Serenity the Schemer and the Kitchen Witch. So, whoever this bitch is, she plays a lot of games. And here you are, Divine Feminine. Boom. Okay. Makes sense. You have marriage coming towards you. Okay, so the connection between this dude and this chick right here, you got the Kitchen Witch. And you also have Serenity the Schemer. So, whoever this chick is... She has some very beautiful hair. This could be somebody who's light-skinned. This person may even have their nose pierced. Um, but this is a shapeshifter. Okay, this person is playing with spell work. And when you look at Serenity the Schemer, this was somebody who tried to team up with the individual, tried to do some type of spell work to attack um, the prophets of God. And it ended up backfiring on this individual. They started having spirit possession of the home, spirit possession. Literally, you could see the spirits possessing the individual by playing with the spell word. And that could be what's happening to the individual that they may live with. This could even be a mother. Their mother could do spell work. Their sister could do spell work. Okay, but this person self-proclaims to be a kitchen witch. Okay. But this is somebody who is just learning. This is somebody who likes to steal. This is somebody who will steal other people's ideas. This is not somebody who has actually been handed down any type of um, alchemy, uh, knowledge of alchemy. Um, this is not somebody who has been handed down recipes throughout the family. Um, certain rituals to perform when it comes to spirituality this is somebody who wants to be a holistic killer this is somebody who wants to be a shaman who wants to be into herbalism but with coupled with serenity the scheme baby this is somebody who is likely going to show their ass and the spirits are going to show through the individual i mean you can see it in the person's eyes like literally this woman's eyes just like pupils dilated, okay, just by playing with spell work and trying to attack, um, do death magic, things like that on true prophets or individuals who are chosen or who have prophetic gifts. Now, the reason why these two are connected, um, and it could be the reason why they are so close is because they both play the same type of games. They're both shapeshifters. Um, both of these individuals, when you meet them, they're not showing you who they truly are. You may meet the um, charming side of the individual. You may meet the very loving side of the individual. But this is the type of individual who will do spell work behind closed doors and also lie about it. Okay. So that fuck girl, whoever they live with, this person may end up going to the hospital or something. For like spirit possession, um, end up getting sick. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And this person, they feel like the song that's playing is heaven must be yours. So once this backfires, um, this person is going to feel like, damn, like, you do you own heaven? Like, they making moves on your behalf like this? Mm-hmm. Now, this person, be careful if this person comes towards you because, again, they are surrendering you the schemer. So they're going to be very charming. They're going to tell you how much they love you and... You know, um, how much they care about the connection. But then this is going to be the type of person that goes and plays games behind your back. Okay. Seven of Wands energy. So somebody is definitely defensive right now. Whoever this person is, they are defensive when it comes to work. Um, and we all kind of know what that looks like. Okay, because I feel like, again, what they wanted for you has backfired in their life. They wanted you to be on edge. They wanted you to be um, paranoid, on guard. And I feel like these individuals, now they're having to defend their position at work. Now they're having to defend the work that they do. And they're upset and they're guarded with that. So this could look like um, their clients or their coworkers coming to them complaining about the work that they receive. And these individuals are on guard. They're ready for war. They're ready to fight. Okay. Eight of Wands in reverse, delayed response or no response. They're not getting the response that they want to hear from individuals. Okay, and for some of you guys, they may blame you for that. But I feel like this person, when you look at Serenity the Schemer, they don't take accountability of their actions. They don't look at the fact that their actions are what landed them there. They're not looking at the fact that doing this, um, this fake ass, and I have to, I'm not saying... Not saying magic is fake, because the shit be real, okay? Spiritual realm is a whole fuck around to find out. It is. But I feel like these individuals, they've only been doing it for six months, okay? Whoever these individuals are, they childish as hell. They try to act like a divine feminine, but this person is not a divine feminine, okay? And the ancestor is also their ancestors, or even your ancestors could be triggering this person's inner child wounds or issues. Mm-hmm. Two of Wands. Okay. So this masculine energy, he finds himself trying to compare. Um, and whoever this person is, they be trying to compare they work to yours. They're tr they try to compare the things that they do to you. They try to compare their person to you. Okay. Some of you guys are definitely in this energy of protecting your thoughts. Whoever this man is, be careful of um, somebody trying to hack into your account. What song is this? Put a praise on it. Okay, be careful of this person trying to hack into any accounts. Okay, this person could be tech savvy also. But with the seven of wands and the two of wands that gives you nine of wands, these are very persistent type individuals. These are the type of individuals, they're the wounded warrior. So even if they get their ass kicked in the spiritual realm, they are persistent. They still, look, they still keep doing shit. They still keep lighting shit. But again, what they're doing is backfiring on them. So everything that they are doing, they are experiencing the work of their own hands. And it's pissing this person off. But if it's pissing you off that fucking bad, then quit doing it. For some of you guys, you may be a holistic killer. You could be an alchemist. You could be a light worker or a shaman. Or you've been called to heal the community in some type of way. You may work with the community in some type of way. This person, I heard this person wants to be you. You got a fuck girl who want to be a divine feminine. And not only that, you got a fuck girl who wants a divine union. But this person doesn't have this. Them and they person be sitting in the front room together trying to figure out how they gonna work on shit. How they gonna fix shit, push shit together. Somebody is working on something for a kid. Could be trying to like build something for a kid. And then next thing you know, this bitch is up here clutching her motherfucking pearls. Why is she clutching her pearls? Somebody's hearing loud fucking noises in their home. It could even sound like... Um, I don't know. It's it's like either a loud shotgun. It's a loud noise that this person keeps hearing. Mm -hmm. 
But again, it's at the work of this person's own hands. Okay. Didn't I say the chariot earlier? Okay. Could be dealing with a cancer sign. Okay. Traveling in a new direction. So whoever these individuals are, they're trying to figure out what direction do I go in now? What way do I approach this situation now? Again, this is a fuck girl. Some dude, he love riding around with some fuck girl. Not only that, for some of y'all, this person has showed this individual where the fuck you stay at. These motherfuckers be driving around your house together. Somebody's also trying to look somebody shit up online. Okay, whoever these people are, they are invested in this. These people that even, they didn't went to the um, spiritual store to even get shit. These people that went to the spiritual store, they didn't got um, bracelets, they didn't got sage, they didn't got all type of shit. Somebody, this person could be trying to cleanse their home. Look at this, two of cups, a lot of twos out here. 722 could be significant. Somebody could be born 72. Oh, 7272 is your spiritual number. What is that message? Let's see. 7272. They talking about Lord. You have been so self-critical of yourself that you have forgotten who you really are. If you are if you have been praying for guidance or direction from God, the number 7272 means he heard your plea. So some of you guys, have you been praying about this situation? You could have been praying about this person. Okay. Somebody is invested in a relationship with the wrong soul major two of cups is in the reverse. You've been praying about this situation, talking to God about this person and God has heard your plea when it comes to this person. He said, baby, this is over with. It's done. Somebody's mother could be telling somebody to end something. Somebody, a Leo could be significant. A Libra could be significant. And somebody, whoever this person is, it's like somebody is mad, angry. Somebody doesn't want to take the right advice. They choose to take the wrong advice. You could be dealing with this high priestess. This could be a, Lib uh, a Libra. Somebody's dealing with the Libra. You got the Empress out here. Libra, Taurus, Leo, Pisces cancer somebody has been listening to the wrong person there's some secrets that need to be revealed somebody is going against their intuition their better judgment whoever these people are they're going against their better judgment god he heard your plea honey you've been talking to god about this four of pentacles and the reverse Okay, but here we are. Whoever this person is, they want to hold on to a soulmate that does not want a relationship. Somebody is trying to hold on and penny pinch and somebody is holding on to something out of jealousy. Somebody went ahead and went forward and invested in somebody who's not really their soulmate. Somebody was being stubborn. This is a situation where a hard head make a soft ass. It's like God keeps telling the individual to stop doing something or to stop talking to somebody. And the person is like, no, I'm still going to talk to Joe. You know, I'm still, me and Joseph, we still going, that's still going to be my boo. But with this four of pentacles, these individuals still are going to, possess a need for some type of stability somebody in the relationship is very controlling somebody also um is very frugal i feel like there's some financial greed also in that situation if this is a business partnership maybe this is the wrong business partner to invest in they're going to be very greedy okay so lord what is the outcome of the individual's Planning spell work. Okay. The outcome. Oh, 
child. Nine of Cups in reverse. This is not something that these individuals wanted. This is not something that's wish fulfillment and it's not going to make them happy. It's also somebody may end up losing their sense of independence with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person may end up being very codependent to um, magic or to doing spirit spiritual work or to other people. They got the Nine of Cups in reverse. They had some unrealistic expectations. Ten of Wands energy, extremely stressed, needing to ask for some type of um, assistance. Whoever this person is, they're going to eventually let go of whatever this goal is. But they're going to have to learn to face the difficult reality. And the difficult reality is that they can't teach you a lesson. The only person that can teach you a lesson is God. God is the one who is going to chastise you, not man. Mm -hmm. These individuals are definitely going to be on edge. Okay. Very impulsive. Mm -hmm. Be careful of fake profile pages individuals trying to spy on you from fake pages okay and somebody may be trying to plan somebody's death and it's not going to go the way that they are hoping there's going to be some mind games that's going to backfire mm -hmm. this person is really hoping to get what it is that they want this is also somebody that feels like um, if they rush and do something that it's going to be wish fulfillment but it's still not this person rushed into some type of relationship with somebody that is really not a soulmate somebody's gonna get a marriage annulled i feel like this is gonna be something that honestly with this you got the nine of cups in reverse and you have it in the upright they don't want to feel that type of pressure or to have to ask other people, but I feel like it happened. Whatever this is, it happens so fast with this Knight of Swords energy that it's kind of like wish fulfillment for you. You're the one that may be happy or you may be satisfied. And it falls right on top of we're just waiting on you to say the word and we only ask like white on rice. Oh, goodness. Oh, baby, it's about to be some fights, honey. All right. Empress energy in reverse. Somebody is also up under judgment. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. This could be someone's mother, wife, okay, older relative. Hold on, let me get your card off the floor, baby. Okay. So this person is not happy with the messages that they are receiving. This is somebody who is extremely frustrated. This person is tired of bending over backwards. Somebody may also end up yelling at a Leo. Okay, you got Capricorn energy out here also. Somebody's got a big ass ego. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Cap. This is somebody who is extremely house proud. This is somebody who may be yelling in their home. This person may be frustrated. Somebody going to slip and fall too. Okay, something is over. Something's coming to an end with this queen of pentacles. This could also be when it comes to a love relationship. Could even be dealing with a Gemini. Okay. Somebody misses a friend. Mm -hmm. I feel like when this person looks back on this situation... I'm telling you, it's look, somebody wants to be an empress. You got two empresses here. One, and there's domestic discord. This person is not really nurturing, very disruptive environment. And then you have one who is an actual divine feminine. This divine feminine is working on her inner child right now. This um, other person that's not an empress, they're up under judgment. This person is going to be questioning their decisions. This person is going to find themselves in their head. This person utilizes their beauty or their attractiveness to get other people to do things. So this person could have even done some type of sex magic. If this is a man that you were dealing with, this woman persuaded this man to try to do some type of spell work on you with sex. She used her body. Mm hmm but it doesn't turn out the way that the person is hoping. Okay. I heard it never does. 
Okay, this individual is playing mind games. Okay, manipulation. Somebody has been seeing visions, dreams, and number synchronicities. Could be seeing 444. Whoever this individual is, they lie about everything. All type of shit. Okay. And this is somebody who may have betrayed you. This person could have even lied on you. Mm -hmm. Be careful who you entertain. Mm -hmm. A Pisces. Okay. A Libra. Pisces and a Libra could be significant. Either you're a Pisces or a Libra. Be careful about who you entertain. Somebody is playing mind games. Okay, you got Aquarius, bottom of the deck. They feel rejected in this situation. Ooh, okay. Suicide. Somebody may be contemplating suicide. Okay, you got a Virgo. And this could be because of this energy backfiring. Whoever this is, their checking account needs some type of attention. This person does fraudulent work. They lie about the work that they do. They could have even betrayed somebody. Okay. They were hoping to betray somebody. Yeah, this person was taking their time. This person was entertaining you. Um, they were taking their time to try to destroy you is what I'm hearing. But there's a tower moment. You see a blue bird. You definitely have hope in this situation. Okay. This person was going to try to seduce you. Okay. And this is the thing. They don't do it all the time. That song, uh, H-Town Lover, Part-Time Love. So this was, this person really didn't put in a lot of effort in the relationship, okay? This person, oh, we're meant to be, we're a soulmate. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to have a fresh start, could be a Virgo, try to have a fresh start with the Virgo, but there's financial abuse and somebody else is in denial about this. Somebody is just supporting somebody's shady ass behavior. Okay, trying to busy themselves, but this person is internally conflicted about the situation because somebody knows that they're wasting time, like somebody has wasted time on a person or in a situation or trying to do some type of spell work. Okay, somebody's hoping that some spell work is going to be successful. Kundalini awakening. Now, you may be awakening to some type of violence. This person may have a gun, try to utilize a gun, but maybe the spiritual realm is on your side. For some of you guys, this person could literally be trying to harm you seriously with a gun. But the, again, the spiritual realm is on your side. So whatever this individual is trying to do, however they're trying to entertain you, um, seduce you, to betray you, it's not going to work. Okay, this person likes to play the victim in a situation. This person has been doing a lot of complaining. Mm -hmm. You may need to get an order of protection from this person. Okay, this person, they don't have any morals and values. An order of protection will actually make you feel safe, whoever this person is. They got some toxic ass fucking family members. This person may, for some of y'all, this person may even try to um, get a family member to do something to you or somebody that they work with to do something to you. Like, oh, I'll offer you a little something to do something for me. Mm -mm. They like, look, I got a little money. They gonna pay for it, all right? Okay, because whatever money that they trying to use to do something to you, they don't need that damn money for something else and they don't have the fucking money for it. Whoever the person is, they deal with the drug abuse. Okay, and they try to make you feel guilty. There's a breach of loyalty in this situation. And for some of you guys, this person may be trying to have sex with you and you like, hell, fuck it now. Okay. Payday. The outcome for this person... Put downs when it comes to promotion in their career. Did not tell you what they wanted for you is happening to them. People are complaining about the work that they do. Okay. Emotional abuse. The person is being emotionally abused. So the way that they try to abuse you emotionally, they're being abused. Especially when it comes to somebody who they really want to spend time with. That person don't really want to spend time with them. This person is being sexually abused also. Okay, because somebody has put up some healthy boundaries. So somebody that they were dealing with that they used to always be able to just run to for sex, sexual gratification. That person is like, no, I'm tired of you, you know, just using the situation or using sex. So it's like this person, there's transformation. Come on. Homicide. 
homicide. Flee in the reverse. This person's not going to be able to get out of some type of homicide. Like somebody is trying to kill somebody. I told you this person going to end up going to jail. Mm -hmm. Person try to touch you. Mm -hmm. They going to jail. This person's living check. They ch they living check to check. Mm -hmm. They trying to move some shit around. Now, whoever this person is, they're going to try to have an alibi and say that they out of uh, state or they out of town or they're not around to be able to commit it. But it's going to come back to them. Come on. Didn't I say it's going to come back to them? Because whoever actually does it, they're going to be the ones to tell. Scorpio. Yep. A Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, baby. Be safe. Know that the spiritual realm is on your side. Make sure y'all get your order of protection. Do y'all protection work? If you're dealing with this situation, definitely talk to somebody and let them know. Okay. The signs that you have here, you have a Virgo, you have Libra, and you have Pisces. Now, this is the thing. When these individuals get caught up, it's going to be a Virgo who commits suicide. That's They're going to try to take the easy way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, boo. And for some of you guys, this person may even say, like, all oh, the person, they committed suicide, but it's really a homicide. So that story goes a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody is dealing with an individual who's been lying and betraying them, playing mind games. You've been having visions, dreams, and seeing number synchronicities about this. Be careful who you entertain Pisces, Libra. And Virgo, whatever comes out is something between you got a Pisces and a Libra on the same side, but right in between them, you have suicide and Virgo. Okay, so whatever comes out is something about these three signs here. Okay, whatever comes out, somebody is not may not be able to handle the truth, they may end up harming themselves. That is the message, and we're about to get the fuck up out of here, honey. Make sure that you sage, okay? Clear the energy, because bitches, Christ. Bye.